when we are working on a specific data in power bi there might be a situation where you have to add one more data to the existing data that you are working or you might face a problem in such a way that the data that we have is inappropriate or it's not correct then we receive the right data from our client or customer at that moment we have to update the data or there might even be a situation where you can or you have to do load another data to the existing data so how should we do that in power bi hi i am m asif hussain from know how academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand how to add the data or update the data in power bi by the end of this video you could learn how to fetch the data into power bi desktop how to use the power query editor and how to add the data or update the data in power bi so watch till the end my dear viewers here i have the power bi desktop on the screen and i would like to import the data into my power bi desktop let's assume that my data is right now from excel sheet so what i do is i go here to an excel sheet then i'll just go and use my campaign users data and i'll click on open as soon as i click on open i will get a navigator box where it is asking me to select what is the sheet that you have in the excel and that data will be previewed in the right side now there is an option to transform the data where i will go with the power query editor which is the platform for data transformation or i can load the data directly there are two ways now let me click on transform data as soon as i click on transform data power query editor is open up so in this power query editor whenever we are working on any data the initial step is importing the data getting the data into power bi then identifying and analyzing whether the data is clean unclean or structured unstructured organized or unorganized we have to find out all these aspects so here let us assume we'll go with the analytical part we can see that the column 3 and column 4 are completely null i mean we do not have any information there so what we generally do we have to remove that so i'll right click here and i'll remove the column 3 and as well as the column 4 now as we can see that the first row is completely null i will remove my first row as well i will remove the top row and which is one now as we can see that the campaign stage and number of users these two are the column headers actually the column headers came inside the data so i am assigning back this as use first row as header so now they are back i have cleaned up my data all right so now you are halfway done let's consider you are working on this data now you are halfway done again you will get a intimation that you have to load one more data or you have to add another data to the existing data that you have so for this what you have to do now what i'm going to do i'll click on new source and i will select the excel the another data that i have it so let's consider that i have the uh, any e-commerce shopping data i'll click on open so though you are not in a power bi desktop though you are not in a power bi desktop when we are working on a power query editor in the data transformation part we can still add the data so i'll click on the tables whichever i would like to get it into my particular uh, power query editor i'll click on okay so all those tables which i have selected okay these will be imported to the existing data that i have so now this is one type of uh, uh, scenario where you have to load the data or add the data to the existing data that you have now let me walk you over 
another type of situation where you have to add the data to the existing table or to the existing query so for this what i'll be doing let me go to add column under add column we have an option called custom column or conditional column and we also have custom columns from example okay so let me give the uh, custom column from examples i'll go with the selection now i have got the column here now what i'm doing i'm adding another column and i'm adding the data in it okay so now what i am going to do let me write the name as let me consider the months january then we'll go with february then i'll go with march then i'll go with april then i'll go with may and i'll go with june all right so now i have entered the data here i'll click on okay as we can see that i have added the data earlier the data that we have received from the client there were only two columns now I have added another column here. Now you can go and change the column name. Just double click it and choose it as month. That's it. This is how we have to add the data. One, adding the data by getting, by fetching or by importing the data from the data source into the existing Power BI or adding the data to the query to the table with a new column. So these are two ways. Now let me talk to you with the another situation where you have to update the data. Okay, now let's consider that the purchased products are, you know, we have 25,682 customers or users. Now this, this purchase did not happen in the June month. Let's consider that this purchase happened in the September month. So from the June month, you have to update the information to September. So for this, what we do, we generally go with the replace values. So what we can do here, right click and we can replace the values. Now, when I click on this replace values, what is the thing that I have to find June, right? I have to find out here June. And from this June, I have to update the data or update the value to September. Am I right? Earlier it was June. Now I have to update it to September. Let me click on OK we got September here and we, it is telling that I have replaced the value. So my dear viewers, here we have to consider that what kind of situation are we are in what kind of scenario it has been asked. Depending upon that, we have to go and use the appropriate sections or whether we have to fetch the data, whether we have to update the data, whether we have to add the data to the existing table. So what kind of changes that we would like to do that we have to again consider it by the client's requirement. And once when I have done all these things in Power Query Editor, I'll go to home and click on close and apply. When I click on close and apply, I'll again land up into my Power BI desktop where all my data will be loaded. Depending upon the requirements that I have from the client perspective, I will use the calc if it is required to do the calculation and we will go with the DAX functions, then we'll prepare a report. And that's how the process uh, follows from the step one that we have it in our Power BI. As we can see that the data that we have loaded into Power Query and the transformations that we have done, the number of columns that we have removed, the top, the first row that we have set it as a header and we have added a custom column you know, where we have input the month information. So all these changes that we have done, it is getting loaded into our uh, Power BI desktop. So from this, we go with the DAGs, we go with the visuals, we go with the report, we prepare for OBS service, and all these things happens from the next steps. So let's see uh, once it is getting loaded. As we can see here, all the tables got loaded. And in the table that we have, you know, campaign stage and the number of users, and we have added the month here. As we can see, the month is correct. And the value that we have updated from June to September, and that is also applicable here. So that's how we have to update the uh, data in our Power BI. So my dear viewers, in this video, we have learned how to add the data, how to import the data from a data source, you know, how to add the data from a custom column perspective. And we have also learned how to update the data or update the values in a column in Power BI. 
So thank you for choosing Nahab Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.